This is code.org, computer science or CS discoveries. Um, this is unit two, it's their stuff well focused on HTML. Uh, we are on lesson three, intro to HTML, solid name for it. Um, and we are on, working on level four, which is explore HTML. Let's see what they have us doing. Explore HTML. This is a web page written in HTML, the language of the web. You'll learn more about how it works, but first let's explore it by using the inspector tool. Do this. Click the tip, how do I use the inspector tool? Okay. On the right to learn how to use the inspector tool. That seems redundant, but fine. The inspector tool is a great way to learn more about unfamiliar code in web lab. To turn on the inspector tool, click inspector off. So they're not meaning click here, they mean way down there. You will know that the inspector tool is on because the button will turn white and say inspector on. Let's test. Aha! Once you turn on the inspector tool, you can hover over anything in the web page. You can hover over anything in the preview area, which we learned uh, in 3.2 is this area. And the web lab will highlight the code that is making that part of the web page. Oh, I see. So if I highlight, if I hover over this, it shows where in the HTML that appears. Does it go? Oh yeah, even down there. Neat. Follow the instructions in the web page to explore the web page and discuss with your partner how it is working. All right. I'm going to go ahead and shrink these down now. Doc type, exploring HTML. Welcome to the web lab. This is a web page. I guess we I could read it over here. You are looking at an actual web page written in HTML, the language of the web. On the left side, you can see the code used by your computer to create this page. Yes, I can. Inspector tool. Use, we've done that. Use the inspector tool to see what pieces of code are linked to what text on the web page. Go through it with your partner. Hi, partner. So you can discuss what you're seeing. Discuss with a friend. With a friend, discuss the following two questions, or the following questions. What text is appearing in both code and the web page? Oh, well, that is somewhat obvious. If I use inspect, well, maybe it's not. It's obvious because it's over here. But notice, for example, like our P tag, our paragraph tag, uh, it's only showing in the code, right? And we haven't learned what that is yet. Or this H1 tag, and we haven't learned what that is either, but it's a heading tag. It's only showing over here. It seems to make this large, but it doesn't actually say that stuff over here. Or how about our bullet points? It looks like there's an LI tag that doesn't show over here, but maybe it shows as a bullet point. I bet we'll find out. So what, what text appears in the code on the web? Oh, yep, we just did that one. How is this language communicating extra information about the way to represent text? I think it's doing that by the tags, but I think we'll find out for sure uh, shortly. Well, at least hopefully by the end of these lessons. So excellent. Let's go ahead and fit, hit finish and keep the party going.